Korn is a new metal band that formed in 1994, releasing their first album, Korn, their self-titled album in, in 1994. Ever since then, they have released 11 albums, some albums including Life is Peachy, Follow the Leader, and in their excuse me, latest album, The Serenity of Suffering. But how would I rank their discography? Now, I hope y'all liked that Kendrick Lamar video I did. Uh, I'm actually really happy with it, but not completely. But I promise I can do better. Don't worry. I will be filming my recovery review this weekend. And the Marshall Badges LP2 review will be reviewed next weekend. So, I hope y'all ready for that. And, and let's get started. Just to remind y'all what um, um, albums I'm talking about. I'm talking about their self-titled album, Life is Peachy, Follow the Leader, Issues, Untouchables, uh, Take a Look in the Mirror, um, See You on the Other Side, Untitled, Corn 3, The Paradigm Shift, The Path of Totality, and Corn 3. Yeah, so hope y'all like this video and let's get started with number 12. At the lowest spot of the list, I put their 2007 album, Untitled. Now after the release of their um, album, See You on the Other Side, which I'll get into later on the list, um, I was sort of disappointed with Korn. Like, their nine singles were really dragging the albums down a little bit, which you kind of have to expect, honestly, with, like, bands or something like that. But sometimes non-singles can work for certain people, like Eminem or Metallica or even Ozzy Osbourne. But with Korn, it just sort of does not work, and their untitled album is easily the worst Korn album I've ever listened to. Now, and the reason I put this here is that it's pretty boring. It's a very boring album. This, it's not like encore type of terrible, but it's still one of my least favorite albums I've heard of all time. Because I was hoping Untitled, I had so high expectations. I was hoping for Untitled to be a good album, but nope. Only one good saving grace, and that was the song Evolution, which is my favorite song off the album, but easily untitled is the worst corn album. Like, all the non singles are just boring and stupid. Um, which I hate that. I hate I would have I hate putting this album here, but it deserves it because it was such a failure. And that was untitled. Um, and at the second lowest spot, I put corn three. Or remember who you are, or Corn Three. Remember who you are. I don't know. I'm just gonna call it Corn Three. It's simpler. Now Corn Three is an album I actually don't hate. From the list all the way down, from this album to down, these are albums I do not hate. But Corn Three is still not that good though. Um, as I stated earlier, the not singles do kind of drag the album down. Um, it's just kind of stupid. That I would call it Corn 3 because there was no trilogy going on when this album came out. So it's pretty freaking dumb. All I have to do. But one thing I do like this is hey, this one has like a more of a raw vibe to it, which I like that. And and the guitar playing and the instrumentals are just freaking great. But they did their blind live um, cover, I think it went on for way too long. It's like, I was expecting the guitar to go on while the drums were going, but I had to wait for like, probably two minutes for that to start. But what do you expect? It's alive. So, you kinda expect something out of that. But, Corn 3 is just an album I don't understand, honestly, because there was no trilogy, nothing was going on. Remember who you are is one of the, one of the, it has nothing to do with corn, but the bad part about it is that it's all just meh, honestly. Kind of like with the rest of Untitled, but Untitled was worse. But, do I think corn 3 is terrible? No. Is it great? No. Is it good? Eh. Is it, be, is it meh? Yes. And that was corn 3, my number 11. And the number 10 spot is their most recent album, The Serenity of Suffering. 
Now, most people really dislike Corn after the release of The Path of Totality, Untitled, The Paradigm Shift, and Corn 3. Those are like the main albums they released after. But after Untitled and The Path of Totality, I was hoping Corn would come back strong with a better album. And with um, The Serenity of Suffering, I sort of got that. I sort of did, but not completely though. This album is not perfect at all. But probably the only saving grace, only saving graces are a rotting in vain, take me in a different world. I think. Yeah, a different world. Those are the only three good songs on here. Um, the rest of it was just, it's just, it's it's corn three again. It's sort of like corn three again. It's just meh. Honestly, I really hate to say that. But, do I think it's terrible? No. But it's great? No. It's really not great at all. This is sort of, um, um, like the, um, wait, what is it? What is it? Um, Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome for, for corn. I mean, this is a watchable, this is a watchable, Mad Max, um, Beyond Thunder Knows is a watchable film, and Corn uh, 3 is a, Corn, uh, um, Serenity of Suffering is a listenable album, but they still have a ton of problems, and you may, they make you just not want to come back to it, so, that's why Serenity of Suffering is lower, or Serenity of Suffering is away, but, but I think the album is, yeah, it's not bad, it's not great, it's just there, and that was the Serenity of Suffering. Number nine is the Path of Totality, which I have already reviewed, so um, go check that out on my channel. But just in case if you don't want to see it, I do think the album is meh, but not terrible. This is their is this is Corn's dubstep new metal collaboration, and it's very very weird. Besides the Skrillex collabs. The album is just meh. Like, the songs, I, I, people like Get Up on the album. I don't, I don't like Get Up. It just doesn't sound good, honestly. Um, Narcissistic Cannibal is the best song off the album because it has like a gritty, gritty sound to it, which I love that, which you expect from metal. But the good parts are the Skrillex collabs and the bad parts are is basically the rest but um this is a listenable album i don't think you can you should well you can skip it if you want to but it's not horrible or anything it's just there but back to totality it's not great it's not bad it's just there. and at number eight is there um is the first corn album i ever listened to and that was see you on the other side which was released in 2006. Now, from this number downward, I lo I like or love these albums. And See You On The Other Side is an album I like. But they st it still has a few problems with it. Some of the singles, Twisted Transistor and Coming Undone, are really good out of good songs, honestly. But I do think Coming Undone is the best song off the album. And I'll still stand by that, because with Coming Undone, it, like, it, I know I keep saying this, it's a gritty sound to it. And with Tr Twisted Transistor, it does sound good, but it's just not gritty enough. But, my main problem with this album is the non-singles songs, such as a um, love song. Is it love song or love song? I have no idea what it's called. Um, politics and Hypocrites. The three worst songs off the album. Hypocrites is a song that you can easily skip. It's very, it's really, really not good. It, I don't even know what it even talks about. I think it's just this sort of like the Untitled from Eminem on Recovery, which I'll get into in my Recovery review. But, See You On The Other Side is an album I like and... And at number seven, I put the Paradigm Shift, which was released a couple of years ago, probably 2013, I think, somewhere around there. But this album is an album I like. I do like this album, but mainly only for one song though, and that was Never Never, which was the 
WWE Tables, Lattice, and Chairs theme song for 2013 or 14. I forgot. You have one of those years. I think it was 13. But, The Paradigm Shift is an album I think is fine. It's a fine album. I do kind of disagree putting this album on my number 7. But, I should have thought about this list way before I did this video. But, there's nothing really to say about the Paradigm Shift. I do like the sound to it. It sounds better, I guess. I mean, it's 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 fine of an album. It's good. Mainly for Never Never, but it's just the Paradigm Shift is just there. But it's not ter it's not bad, but it's not perfect though. I just think it's good only for one song. Which is Never Never, which is a song you can just easily listen to. The best you could probably just skip, honestly. I don't really care um, about the rest of it. That's why I only listen to Never Never, which is the only good song on the album. But, <sighs> Paradigm Shift, it's there. I do disagree putting it at number 7. I should have put Steam on the other side at number 7, and Paradigm Shift at number 8. But, uh, I need to keep my notes the truth is so, so, I put the paradigm shift right here, and that was number seven. And number six is Take a Look in the Mirror, which was released in 2003. Now, from this album onward, I love, I love Take a Look in the Mirror. The reason I love this album is because of the gritty sounds here with songs such as Y'all Want a Single, or Right Now, or many songs like that. Like, it's... Grittier is a raw vibe to it, especially with right now, like dark, sort of like weird things are talked about on the song. Which I like it when corn goes creepy, though it doesn't really work with metal. But Thick Look at the Mirror is a good album. Um, the bad part about this album are some of the uh, again, some of the non singles are not really that good. The non singles I skip every time um, I listen to this album. I mainly just listen to Y'all Want a Single. And right now, those are the only songs I listen to on the album. But it's it's a good album, mainly for those songs. And um, during this time, this is when Korn was starting to well, starting to progress down. I think a little bit after Issues is when Korn started to go down a little bit. But Take a Look in the Mirror was still good though. So it wasn't like terrible or nothing, but... Yeah, this is that was that the that was when the corner started to go down. And also, there's a cover of one by Metallica. Corn covered it, which I liked it. I liked that cover. But let's stay over here. The non-singles I skip, and the singles I listen to all the time. And so that was take a look at me. Alrighty, guys, we're down to the final five. So five downward, I love. And number five is Life is Peachy. Um, the non-singles and the singles make this album great. Songs such as Good God, Twist, and Chai Chi. I don't know, I don't know what it is. Um, Adidas is a good, is a great song. Um, Twist. Twist was such a funny intro for the album, <laughs> and it's basically this um Jonathan Davis song. It sounded like a freaking Rottweiler on meth. But, <laughs> why did I do that? But There's nothing bad about this album, but I just don't understand why it's called Life is Peachy. And the cover art is kind of weird. It's basically this giant shadow over this kid like... <laughs> I'll actually hurt a little bit, but something like that. You know, I was trying to... Put, um, Full in space because this video has to be over the five minutes long. But like the speechy, all singles and non singles are great and I love it. And number four is Issues, which I think is an album when, um, that ended corn being great. The reason I say that is because after Issues came out, Take a Look in the Mirror came out, and then albums such as. See him on the other side. Uh, title. Yeah. Uh, the corn three came out, which progressed corn down. So, 
I was thinking Issues was the final good album, great album from Corn, which I was sort of correct, but I love Issues. This album is great. The the song Counting is a song I freaking love to death. Um, Got the Life is very good in my opinion. Um, and the song Counting. Counting was very good. I think I already said that. The nine singles as, um, are really good, just like with Life is Peachy. But I just recommend you listen to this album because this was the final good album, from, great album from Korn. So, and, oh god, I hate doing these videos. But that was Issues. Now we're getting to the final three. And at number three is Untouchables. Now, with this album and the final two albums, these were when Korn were in their great days. Untouchables has songs such as Alone I Break, Thoughtless, Here to Stay, um, a good song. Um, Blame was a great song. I mean, Untouchables was great. It's just the, the stereotype. This is when Korn were in their good days. And once Take a Look at the Mirror came out, their days started to get real. But, um, a non-single on the album is probably the weakest part about the album, but it's not terrible. But, Untouchables is a perfectly listenable album. Because of songs that is like, um, Here to Stay or Alone Out of Break, which was on their greatest hits. Volume 1 edition. Oh, by the way, Greatest Hits Volume 1, we need to release in Volume 2. We're waiting. But, that was Untouchables, and now we're getting out to the final two. Alright, guys, we're down to the final two. And the number two pick is Follow the Leader, which was their third studio album to come out after Life is Peachy. And it is perfect. It is a perfect album. As long as it is. Um, falling away from me, freak on a leash. Um, this it those songs just made this album perfect the way it is. But it's probably the leader of my favorite album. Uh, it's very difficult to say because I love this album and my number one pick. But I gotta say truth to myself. And I thought number one was better than Follow the Leader. That still did not mean Follow the Leader was not great, because I still really do enjoy this album for, for uh, Falling Away From Me and Freak On A Leash. And the Dante Ross remix on The Greatest Hits Volume 1, I think it's pretty good. So, um, Follow the Leader is one of the more recent Korn albums I listen to, and I'm very happy with the way. Um, very happy I got to listen to. Look at my beautiful hair. And now, for my number one pick, if y'all didn't know, number one is, like the Shape H31, the first set, and you gotta look for the best, you gotta look at the first. Corn, self-titled album, released in 1994. My lord, this album is one of my favorite metal albums, or one of my favorite albums I've ever listened to in my entire freaking life. Songs such as Blind, Shoots and Ladders, Agate, Clown, uh, I forget what they call Daddy. Daddy is one of the darkest corn songs I've ever heard, and it's mainly because corn is about the leap is about someone being molested by their neighbor, and once they tell their parents, they don't believe it, which is actually something that happened in real life. The lead singer Jonathan Davis told said in an inter interview he was molested by his neighbor, and once he told his parents about it, his parents did not believe him. And so he kept that head to him for many, many years. In which, that is dark. That is very dark. And very sad, honestly. And I just can't understand how Jonathan could do this song. But, here's a little fact for you. When you look for lyrics videos on this song, you mostly think, you mostly see the videos are 9 or 8 minutes long. But when you look at the original song, it is 17 minutes long and 34 seconds. What the heck? 
Um, mainly after the nine minute mark, it just starts going to silence. And then at the 17 minute mark, um, uh, noise comes back on. It is just very, very weird. But that is the end of my corn rank if it works the best. Sorry if I didn't go into depth about the sound. I just want to, um, release a video for you guys because I know you're waiting for my recovery review which that will be coming out this weekend I promise so um just to give you um I'll uh, tell y'all um the ranking number 12 untitled number number 11 corn 3 number 10 the serenity of suffering number 9 by the totality number 8 see you on the other side number 7 the paradigm shift number 6 Take a look in the mirror. Number five, life is peachy. Number four, issues. Number three, untouchables. Number two, follow the leader. And number one, the first album, self-titled. I just call it corn, but. But anyways, thank you all so much for watching this video. If y'all like the video, click the like on this video. And yeah, I'll see y'all later.